in this video, we're going to create this groovy curved text design. Let's get started. All right, to start off this video, we're going to create a few guides that will help us as we make our text. The first guide I want to lay down is a rectangle, so I'll grab the rectangle tool and then I'll click and drag out a rectangle. I'm going to center this in the document, so make sure that you have snapping turned on right up here so that you're able to snap it to the center. Then I'm just going to adjust the colors here. I'm going to say I want no fill, and for the stroke, I'll go to the stroke panel and I'll just increase the width. That way we can just see that better. So this rectangle will act as an outer barrier and all of our text will fit inside of this. So with that done, the next guide that I want to add is actually curved lines that we'll use for our text to follow along. And to make these curved lines, I'm going to use the pen tool. Now to start, I'll just start right up here. I'm going to click and drag for our first point. Then I'm going to find the center point of our document to lay down my next point. So I'll click and drag for that one. And then I'll go to the edge on the other side of the rectangle and I'll click and drag to lay down this point. I'll press escape to end my line. And I'm going to do this one more time because we have three words for this design. So I need three sections. I'll start right here, I'll click and drag. Then I'll go to the center point again, and I'll click and drag, and then the final point. At this point, you can select the node tool and adjust any of these points as you'd like. And if you do this, just make sure you hold shift so you can move the line exactly straight up and down. That way it stays right in line with the rectangle. Okay, now that we have our guide set up, it's time to add in our text. I'm going to grab the artistic text tool, and then I'll just click and drag to add a letter, and I'll type out our first word, which is curved. I'm just going to highlight this so that I can change the font. You can do that right up here in the context toolbar, and feel free to use any font that you'd like. I'm going to go with this one. And then we can use the move tool to adjust this. So I want this first letter to line up right here in the corner and right down here. So I'm going to have to expand this and move it over so it snaps perfectly in place. And then on this other side, I'm just going to squish it in so that it fits right in here inside of our rectangle. All right, now it's time to work our magic with curved text. With the text selected, go down here and click on warp. Then go up here and click on where it says quad. When you select this option, you get nodes on the edge of your text that you can use to manipulate your text like this. I'm just going to undo that with command or control Z because I want to show you how I would use this for this technique. So what I actually like to do is I like to find the center point of our rectangle. And once you find that center point, go up just a little bit and click to add a point to our box here. This will add a point on the top and bottom, and now we can use these points to adjust our text. So for this middle one, I'm going to hold shift so that I can move this right in line with this middle point, and I'm just going to bring it up until it meets this line. Then I'll do the same for this other side, holding shift to lower this. And you can see this already looks pretty good. It's curving right along with the line. But we can refine this even more by clicking on each point and then moving them to adjust them. So I'll move this one in a little bit. For this one, I think I'll need to drag it out and maybe at an angle a little bit. And for this last one, I'm just going to move this one up. So you can see as I adjust these handles, this blue outline is matching up with our pen tool guide very nicely. All right, with that done, we're just going to do this a couple more times to add in our other words. So let's do this again. I'm going to grab the artistic text tool. I'll click and drag, and I'm going to type out text. All right, using the move tool, I'm just going to adjust this now. I want it to snap to that top edge of the pen tool line. And then I'm going to grow this text so that it snaps to the bottom as well. And for this one, since it's such a short word, I'll have to grow the text a little bit, stretching it that direction. 
And with that still selected, I'm just going to click on the warp option and I'll click on quad. I'm going to find that center point. I'll click on that. And then while holding shift, I'm just going to raise this node. And holding shift, I'll raise this node. And I'll do the same for these other ones. All right, now we can adjust the handles to make it fit better. All right, there we go. Let's do it one last time. Artistic text, type out your word. Using the move tool, line it up. Squish it or stretch it as needed. Then click on warp, quad, find the midpoint and click, and then hold shift to adjust your points. Then use the handles to adjust how these are placed. All right, this already looks beautiful, but now it's time to do some finishing touches to make this look even better. So first, I'm just going to delete all of these guides. And then I'm going to separate these words using the move tool, just so we have a little bit more breathing room in between them. So with this top one selected, I'm just going to move this up with my arrow keys. And I'll do the same for the bottom word, moving them down. And now we can add any colors or effects that we want to these different words. But I do have a tip here. Make sure that you have the layer selected, not the group. If you have the whole group selected as you're trying to do this, and then you go into effects or change the colors, it's not going to react the way it should. As I add an outline here, you can see that it mostly looks good, but it cuts off where it's raised above here. You can see that. So I'm going to undo that. And instead, I'm going to select the layer and try that again. Add an outline, raise the radius, change the color, and now you can see it's acting properly. So that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure you apply all of your changes to the text layer. I'm just going to add some new colors to make this look a little bit better. To start, I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and I'll add a background color. And then I'll change the colors of all of the text. All right, there we have it. Great work, everyone. This curved text looks so groovy. <laughs> If you liked this project and you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, you can check out my Affinity Designer course in the video description. In the course, we learn about a lot of great tools and skills, and then we practice everything we learn by doing a bunch of fun projects together. All right, well, with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.